Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to buy a Minecraft server. This is going to be a Minecraft server that is up all the time, that's up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that you can give to your friends, give to your family, all of that stuff. It is super easy to set up. All you got to do is click a few buttons and your server will be up and running and again, joinable from anyone in the world. Now we're going to be using Apex Minecraft hosting, which you see on your screen right here, to do this. And they even build themselves to start your server in under 5 minutes. That's going to be true here, but I'm going to stretch you out a little bit longer just so I can make sure you guys know everything and like how to do everything your server here. But nevertheless, we are going to be using Apex. You can find a link to Apex in the description down below. It's actually the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. We love Apex so much that we host our own network Minecraft server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. If you want to try out Apex Minecraft hosting, just go to play.breakdowncraft.com, type that into some Minecraft server IP, hit enter, and it will take you over into our server where you'll be able to test Apex for yourself. That link in the description is an affiliate link, meaning we get a commission if you go and purchase through this link, but I think it's pretty clear we love Apex, so why wouldn't we set up an affiliate link with them if we can? And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in to setting up Apex Minecraft hosting. So when you land on this page, the first thing you want to do is click on View Plans. Now, you may be taken to a page that looks like this at first. Other than the homepage, it really just depends. But once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and kind of look at what plan you're going to want to go for. Now, there is some really good deals going on right now, the holiday sale. Apex typically has some kind of deal going on up here, so you might want to check that. But if we scroll down here, basically, these are those special offer deals, right? One gigabyte for $299, and then it's recurring at $599, $499 for two gigabytes, and then $999, so on and so forth. Now, it actually lists down here what these would be good for. So, a one gigabyte server, that's going to be a basic server. Up to 25 players is what it says, but 1.13 is a bit more laggy than other ones. So, I would probably say about 20 players, 15 to 20 players in 1.13. Basic servers and some mod packs. Your less intensive mod packs with under 100 mods are going to be able to run perfectly on this two gigabyte server. And then let's say you want a pretty advanced mod pack like all the mods or stone block or something like that. If you want that, you're going to be going with right here, the four gigabyte server. And then if you really want to get rocking and get a lot of people on that modded server, the six gigabyte server is a great one. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be going with the one gigabyte plan here. But you can go ahead and click order now to uh, get things started. So the first thing we want to do is see $5.99. Discount will show on the next page. We can see that it is discounted. Again, that's going to show on the next page. You want to enter your Minecraft username here. This is going to be what you log into the back end with. So you want to make sure that you know it. I'm going to go ahead and use Nick's Games for that. For our optional subdomain, you can enter this. Say you want your IP to your server to not be a bunch of numbers but be actually something you can type in we can do right here like nick's test server dot apex mc.co right there and we'll get that ip a little later on server version now you can pick tons of stuff here right from mod packs to pretty much everything now as you can see some of this requires a two gigabyte or higher server and you can see if you go in here and get a two gigabyte or higher server you can run some of these but even all the mods light here can actually run on this one gig server so if you wanted that you would click it but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to be going with a paper 1.13.2 server which is a super sleek super awesome distribution of minecraft 1.13.2 that gives you all the awesome banal features with the ability to add plugins and such so we're going to click on that server location i would recommend picking the one closest to you now north american east is mine they just rolled out singapore if you're in that area singapore is going to be great for you they've got australia south america europe and north american east and west i am in north american east that's the one that's close to me so that's what i'm going to go with from there we can go ahead and ignore everything else and go ahead and click continue now on this page our discount will show up and we can see that for 2.99 is what we'll be paying today not too shabby Next month, that'll renew at $5.99, as it's only 50% off the first month. And then we can go ahead and click check out if uh, all that looks good, which it does to me. Now, obviously on this page, I'm not going to show you all this information for my own privacy's sake. But go through here in your name, email, phone number, all of that stuff. The only thing you really need to check here is obviously the email address needs to be one they can actually reach you at because they will be sending you your backend, like server login information and some very important stuff via email. So I'm going to go ahead and enter all all of this information here and then we'll be able to uh get going and there you go after you've entered your information on the previous page and click complete and place order at the bottom you will be taken here this is the order confirmation page and this basically has everything it has your order number and in addition to that it has 
how to get started. I mean, really and truly, I could end this tutorial here if I wanted. I mean, they even have stuff on how to install plugins and, and do everything. But that's not what this tutorial is about. It's about getting you through everything. And you might be asked, what just happened? I accidentally clicked on a, a button right there to log into the uh, basically area that we're going to be in here in a second, which is Multicraft. Now, once you get your server set up and are on this page, the first thing I would recommend doing is coming over to your email. Now, I don't have any email in here just yet because I'm still waiting on the email to come through. It could take up to 30 minutes for the email to come through, but typically it's a lot quicker than that. I just literally, right before I started recording, got this, so it's been probably less than a minute and a half since I placed my order. Once the email does come through, though, I will uh, be over here to show it to you guys. Now, eventually the email will come through. Now, this is a different email from the server I just bought because I sent it to the wrong email and went to Gmail thinking this is where it was at, but it wasn't. But it looks better on Gmail, so this is what the email will look like here. It'll have your server's IP right up here at the top, and then it'll have your billing account login where you can go to log in for that. It'll have your Multicraft login. This is your C panel, basically your control panel for your Minecraft server. We're going to be going there here in a second. And then the FTP details, which is how you're going to log into your Minecraft server and add plugins and mods and all that stuff. So that's where all of that is. But if we come over here, if this is for the server we just bought, right? That's the IP of the server we just bought. This is all the login info. I'm going to go ahead and log in right here to the C panel. So click on the login button under that. On Gmail where it looks good, it would be this login button. It'll take you off to a page that looks like this. You then want to come back over to the email, copy your login name right there. In my case, NixGames1, which is my username, but there was already a NixGames in the account, like in their system. So it went ahead and put a 1 at the end of it. And then we want to go ahead and grab our password, which is from the at sign there. Your may not have an at sign, by the way, all the way to the last letter. It's all in bold. Copy that. Come back over to Multicraft, paste it in, and click log in. Now, once you've logged into Multicraft, most likely you won't see this page. But if you do, go ahead and select the server you want to have. Most likely you just have one server, so you'll just land right here on this page. Now, once you're on this page, what we need to do to install Mod Pack, to install Forge, all we need to do is come down here where you see Jar File, and you see, your, mine currently says Minecraft 1.13.2. Yours probably says Paper 1.13.2 here, right? So yours most likely says that. However, what we want to do is just come down through here and find the Mod Pack. You might need to scroll up to see them all. The Technic Mod Packs are at the top, and then you can go ahead and scroll down through here to see all the different versions and options you have. Right, as you can see, we have everything from all the mods to Stone Block and Stone Block 2 there to a bunch of AT launcher stuff, including Sky Factory 2 and all of the Feed the Beast mods. There are quite a few of them, right? So tons of stuff there. Even Crazy Craft is available. But if you wanted to start a Forge server, for example, you would come here and select the version of Forge that you want. I'm actually going to go ahead and select Forge here. Now, if you want to select a mod pack, all it is is just click on the mod pack, click save and you're done. Now, you will need to stop your server, right? So make sure you've stopped your server there. And then whenever you've stopped your server, you can go ahead and reselect that just to make sure. So select all the mods three, click on save again, and then go ahead and click start. Doesn't matter what mod pack it is, by the way, whether it's all mods or whether it's agrarian skies, whether it's stone block, doesn't matter. Select it, stop the server, save it, all that stuff, and you'll be good to go. Now, what if you want to install your own mods, though? Well, we're going to use Forge 1.12.2 to do that. So let's go ahead and select Forge 1.12.2 here. Go ahead and click OK. And then go ahead and click Save, right like so. Once you've done that, go ahead and save stuff. And then click on Start to start your server. It'll then go ahead and get everything rocking and rolling and start the server on up. Then what we want to do is come over here to where we see FTP file access. Do you see that? Click on that right there. And then once you're here, you need to go to the description down below and download FileZilla. Specifically, the link in the description down below will take you here where you want to download the FileZilla client right here. Once you've got that downloaded, it installs like any other program. And then we need to go ahead and open it on up. So let me go ahead and open up FileZilla right here. Now, once you're here, you need to go ahead and take the information that is back here, right right back here, and copy it over. So in our case, the host is actually our FTP address. The port is, well, the port. The password is your Multicraft password. And the username is, of course, the username. I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. And I'll see you in one quick jump cut. There we go. Now, obviously, the username is blocked out for you except for the first couple letters there and then the IP address is also blocked out except for the last few digits that's up here as well but nevertheless once you've copied that over as you know 
host being host and all sorts of stuff like that, you'll be good to go. And you can go ahead and click Quick Connect. It'll then go ahead and log on in. This will pop up where you want to go ahead and click OK. And then we'll be logged into our server here. Now, you should have a mods folder, which we do. And this is where we're going to put any of our mods. Let me go ahead and download a 1.12.2 mod to drop over here real quick. Let me find one and uh, I'll show you what I decide to go with. Now I think we're going to go ahead and use Tinker's Construct here. Now Tinker's Construct obviously does require Mantle, but I'm just going to go ahead and download the most recent version for both of these. In the meantime, we also need to download Forge. Now I'm being prompted to save these files. I am going to do that. Now if you're using Chrome, you might have to keep the files down here on the bottom left. Whatever you want to have to do though, go ahead and click Keep, go ahead and click Save File, whatever option you have. There was Mantle and here is Tinker's Construct. Save both of those files. Now you're also going to need to download Java, as I said. So if you go to the link in the description down below, by the way, all this is linked down below. Apex, FileZilla, we've got Mantle, we've got Tinker's Construct, and Forge. It'll take you here where you can scroll down, click on the Download Forge button here, and it'll take you off to where we want to make sure 1.12.2 Forge is selected. And then we're going to click on the Installer button right here. See that Installer button? Click on that, and that will take us off to here where we can go ahead and wait five seconds. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Click absolutely Absolutely nothing. Stop it. Don't click anything on this page except the red skip button up here in the top right. See that? Click skip. It'll then prompt you to save the file. It might ask you to keep the file in the bottom left. If you're using Google Chrome, go ahead and click save file or keep, depending on what browser you're using. And then it will go ahead and download the file. Now we can see with Mozilla Firefox up here that it is downloading whenever that green bar goes away. Everything we're downloading has officially downloaded. In the meantime, we can go ahead and minimize our browser here. Back to our desktop where we do have FileZilla still open. I'm going to go ahead and minimize FileZilla temporarily as well. Now, once your downloads are done, you might see them on your desktop, but most likely you won't. Where have they gone? Well, if we hit the Windows icon at the top left for me, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, and then type in Downloads exactly like that, you'll have this Downloads folder. Click on that Downloads folder, and in here you'll find the mods you downloaded. As you can see, Forge, Mantle, and Tinker's Construct. Let's go ahead and drag that to the desktop just for ease of use. Let's go ahead and start off with Forge 1.12.2. Once you've got this on your desktop, right click on it, go ahead and click open with right down here, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. Click OK, and the Forge install will open up. Now wait, what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Well, there's no worries there. All we need to do is go to the links in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Java. First and foremost, to make sure that you can get Java installed, and specifically the Java Development Kit here. Now you might have Java on your computer, but you probably don't have the Java Development Kit, which you do need for installing Forge and running Minecraft mods in general. Now if you come here, it'll walk you through how to install it and all that stuff. Now, if that's that doesn't work and you're still having issues and you can't open up the forge file that you downloaded you'll need the jar fix here right now the jar fix is a very very cool thing that allows you to basically fix java files on your computer so go through this tutorial if you want to see how to install the jar fix and get everything up and running happy wheels not heard about that game in a long time but nevertheless here is how you can get the jar fix after that you'll be able to again right click on the forge file open with and then select Java TM Platform SC Binary. But we've already got ours open here. Once you're here, you just need to click on Install Client and click OK. Now we need to go ahead and install these locally because any and all Forge mods you run need to be installed locally as well as on your Minecraft server. Right? Now the thing is, that also is true for mod packs. So for example, if you had installed Stoneblock earlier or all the mods or any of the other mod packs that Apex offers with just one click, well, it's very, very simple to do that, but you still need to install mod packs locally to be able to play those versions of the game. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get both of these installed locally. To do that, it's actually pretty simple. Click on the Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. It'll open up this. This time you want to type in Run. You'll see the Run desktop app here. Go ahead and click on that. And in here you want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent and then hit OK. Once this is opened up, you'll have a .minecraft folder, and in here you should have a mods folder. Now, what if you don't have a mods folder? What do we do? Is that okay? What's happened? No worries, just create one. Right-click, create a new folder, title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Use that exact same setup, and then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder, and you want to highlight on your desktop, mantle and tinker's construct, right-click, 
copy those, and then over here in the mods folder, you want to right click and paste. Now you should have two .jar files that pop up over here. They should be named the same as the .jar files on your desktop. Now we need to go back to FileZilla here. And again, when you log into your server, you will see basically this exact same setup, everything very similar to this at least. And then you wanna click on the Mods tab right here. So double click on Mods, and then you wanna take from your desktop Tinker's Construct and Mantle and drag them into your Mods folder on your server here in, uh, in FileZilla. So there we can see Mantle is now uploaded, Tinker's Construct is now uploaded. Now we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft Launcher here, we want to come down here next to the green play button. You should have a little arrow and then you should have Forge 1.12.2. If you don't have that, click on the three lines up here in the top right. It'll drop this down, click on Launch Options, and then you can go ahead and create a new profile. Title it whatever you want. I'm going to title mine Play.BreakdownCraft.com because that is the IP of our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, running 1.13.2 survival. Come play with us, over 100 players every single weekend. Throughout the week, we average 80 players. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. Then you want to go ahead and change your version, and you don't want it to be latest release. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom where you'll have released 1.12.2 Forge. If you have multiple ones, pick the one with the highest number at the very end here. So for example, if we had one that was 2,800, and then this one, which is 2,808, we would pick 2,808 because it's the higher number. Go ahead and click on that. And then we want to change the resolution to whatever you play at. In my case, it's going to be 1920 by 1080, just so you guys will be able to see it in game. Go ahead and click save there. Now we can click on news. Select the profile we just created. Again, play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And then click on play. It'll go ahead and launch up Minecraft 1.12. We then want to come back over to our Minecraft server here on our dashboard. Click the back button over here on the left. It'll take us back to the Apex main page here, where we then want to go ahead and click stop on our server. It's going to stop the server, shut everything down, and then we want to start the server again, and our mods will go ahead and install. So if we click on start there, it'll go ahead, start the server back up, and we can actually come over to the console here and see that happening. So if we go through and we'll see everything load up, and we'll actually see, this is kind of cool, the fact that it's loading Mantle and that it's loading everything about the server server here, like Tinker's Construct and all that stuff. You can also see it preparing spawn area, and then we'll go ahead and see that it's finally starting the forge stuff here. So pretty cool, pretty simple stuff, and once everything is started up, you will see done. There it is. We can actually look back here, and we should see the four mods loaded. There they are. As you can see, those are in fact loaded. We can then jump over here into Minecraft. Click on multiplayer, and look at that. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 80 people currently online, rocking and rolling. But we can go ahead and direct connect, and we're going to direct connect to the IP address that if we click back over here, we can find here. It's going to be whatever the IP is there. So go ahead and paste that in. And then there's going to be a colon, and then it's going to be whatever port that you have right here. In our case, 25566. So go ahead and paste that in there. And then click on join server, and we'll log on in. We can then go ahead and op our if we come back over here to the console, see if we come back over here to the console, I can type in op and then my username. And the only reason I'm doing that is because, well, I want to be able to go in creative real quick and just show you that these mods are working. Now we can go into game mode creative, if I can type correctly, pity here, and we'll be able to see that we do in fact have Tinker's Construct tools and everything in place. Awesome stuff, very, very cool, and uh, pretty easy to set up. If you have any questions, we can uh, answer those in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your new Apex Minecraft server. Additionally, Apex does have 24-7 support. So if you actually click over here, you'll be able to see that this little uh, this little button down here, as long as that's there, it's actually not 24-7 chat support. It's like 18 hours a day chat support. But if you click on that little button down there, you can enter live chat and talk to Apex directly. I'd recommend doing that over even commenting in the video below because... Uh, They'll be able to help you out even more there. But nevertheless, that's how you can start a modded server. A lot easier over the mod pack than if you're installing your own mods. But again, all of the links and all of the web pages that I went to in this video are linked in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, again, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And I'm out. Peace.